Recreationally, um, acting began for me in the church. I grew up in the church. Um, my mom was a choir director. Um, so, you know, every Christmas it was me up front singing whatever I needed to be doing, dancing, being the angel. Um, and professionally from there, um, I was booked as Annie. And I was Annie in the production Annie, and I'm the first Annie to be Annie in an all Caucasian cast. And I did that out in Fayetteville, Georgia. And then from there, I went to Broadway. Um, theater was the best thing for me because I went on and um, was able to be Nala, young Nala in The Lion King. And but before that, I was doing television, film. I moved to Los Angeles where I booked my first professional job outside of theater in um, a DVD series from DreamWorks. It was called Bibli Kids, and I did that for about a year. The kids that I teach, um, they're motivating me to be a better actress, a better singer, better dancer, because what I do is give back to them. I teach so many students, um, and they just kind of inspire me to keep going, inspire me to make sure that my craft is the best that it can be so that I'm able to give them the best direction. My biggest inspiration as a child would have to be how much I looked up to Beyonce. <laughs> she was my idol. She still is my idol. Um, you know, she's a triple threat. She's a singer, she's a dancer, as well as an actress, and she's all about her business. Um, and then my mom, you know, she's always been this businesswoman. She's always been on her grind. She's the commissioner right now. She also co-owns Broadway um, Performing Arts with me. She owns daycare. She's just kind of into everything, and that just kind of inspires me to be this great person, you know, this person that's just kind of into everything. So that's why, you know, I chose to be a choreographer and a director and a singer and an actress and all these things. And then currently today, I teach about 300 kids um, from my dance studio, Broadway Performing Arts, to the private school that I teach drama at. And they just kind of motivate me and inspire me to be so great for them so that I can give them great direction and bring them, you know, the best choreography from perfecting my craft. Um, and I also would contribute my success to my work ethic. I've been working for a very long time, since nine years old professionally. I've been in this business, but like I said, recreationally, I remember singing because of videos, you know, at three years old, you know, being up on stage, not scared to get up there and recite a poem or sing a song. Uh, five years from now, I'll be 28. Oh Lord. <laughs> um, but I definitely want to have, you know, a chain of performing art studios. Um, I definitely want to be able to just sit back and allow the girls that I'm training right now to kind of run things. Um, I definitely want to have a more established theater group. I definitely want to be on three, four, five different television shows and movies that are renowned shows. Um, basically, more of a household name. Um, and then after that five years is over, another five years, I want to be doing, you know, the same thing over and over and over. I have girls that come from me from all over, Georgia, Decatur, Ellenwood, um, especially the Stockbridge area. But, you know, I just want to open up my pink house, you know, all those girls, because we do everything here. But my biggest thing, it's, it's a little sorority <laughs> for, for the girls in this community. So, um, you know, if they're interested, I really want them to, you know, come and trust me. When you get that no, because you will be told no more than yes in this industry, don't give up. You know, be strong. You know, don't let it knock you down. Keep going. You know, take that no as, well, that means work harder. When I say being smart, it's choosing the right roles. There have been many roles that I've turned down because that's not the way that I want, um, you know, my kids, my students to perceive me, as well as myself. You know, I have goals. I have morals. You know, I don't just accept anything. So you just have to be smart in this industry about who you work with, who you trust, you know, um, who, who you know, you want to be. Um, when I say be cool, you got to be cool, calm, and collected. You know, you got to make sure that you're a good person to work with because that first impression is everything. And when I say be you, I mean don't ever lose who you are and to just make sure that you're true to yourself in everything that you do.